least we're just looking at pictures on our screens of more casualties being taken away by ambulance from the square. Just give us a sense of how much momentum there is for these protests, given the way that the authorities have cracked down once again. Well, I can say talking to people in the square, they're absolutely determined. I don't know whether you can hear the sounds of, of clapping coming up from the square. People from all walks of life. I've met medical students. I've met people from the furthest suburbs of Cairo, men, women of all ages. And yes, we have also heard constantly throughout the day the sound of the ambulance sirens. I just spoke to a doctor who's running a field clinic just right below me. I said, how many patients did you treat today? He said, 500. And I said, what kind of injuries? He said, injuries from the tear gas canisters, injuries from the rubber-coated steel bullets. And I've also spoken to a number of colleagues who say they have seen evidence that in some of the clashes, not here in the square, but on the outskirts of the square, that live ammunition was used. We had a few eyewitness accounts of that. So these people are absolutely determined to stay here because they say the revolution isn't finished yet. And of course, all of this makes people ask the question, was it really a revolution or was it a military coup? It was possibly a bit of both. But when it all began, people here said the military and the people are one. Now Egypt is in a deep, deep crisis because they now realize they don't want the same thing for Egypt, at least not right now.